hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be making delicious akara chips so this is my beans i've already i soak it one hour and i watch it i wash it very well so it's clean i have my dry pepper you can still use a banana pepper that is fresh pepper so and i have my one medium size of onions my people akara chips do you love akara then you, you're surely going to love this akara chips akara chips is so delicious and it lasts long and it's so crunchy you know when you make your akara you can just keep it for two days or, or i don't know whether some people can keep it more than two days but this one can last you one month even more than so depend on how you preserve it so as you can see i added my grounded beans so this my beans is tw it's 200 gram i i weigh it so it was 200 gram i added my pepper so just add pepper to your to how hot how spicy you want it to be these onions I added is just one medium size of onions. So if you don't have measure anything to weigh your your beans, just just add the amount of beans you just add, just make use of the amount of beans you want. So that is not really important. So just after adding your your beans, you blend it as you can see here. I'm just going to see if my If my beans is well blended so as you can see here the way it is I'm just going to blend it a little more i just because I want it to be smooth yes I want it to be smooth so after, after blending it for after blending it my people I'm just going to bring it out and I will be pouring it so when you are blending it just add water the water that will that will help you to blend your beans well just add that water so don't not let the water to be too much also but just add water make sure the water that will help you to blend your beans well so that's just the water you are going to add so this is it i'm just adding a little water to to rinse out the the beans inside my blender so this is it as you can see the consistency so this is how it is here so my people here i added my market cube my camera was off sorry i didn't know it's not easy to to <laughs> when you are making video when you are doing it yourself my people if you know you know now it's not easy so i just it's only market cube i added though so one market cube and this is my salt i added one teaspoon of salt so that's just it and here is my ginger powder i will be adding also one teaspoon and if you love garlic so add one teaspoon of garlic so me i didn't add garlic on in my own but if you love garlic then add one teaspoon of garlic so after adding my ingredients like this i use my spatula to mix my wooden spoon to mix everything together so here is my farine no no sorry my cassava flour so fufu so this one is cassava flour and it's 100 percent so my people if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel as you are just watching me like this so please subscribe just click that subscribe button click the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload new videos so don't forget my people make sure you use 100 percent cassava flour so you can get it in africa shop in any africa shop close to you you can get this cassava flour so if you live in africa cassava flour bokuna in many well ways so that's it my people so I'm just going to be adding my cassava flour to my beans mixture. There's, uh, there's not really a, the, I, I cannot even, I cannot say the amount of fl uh, cassava flour you are going to add because just add cassava flour until you get to your desired texture. So you are going to see how my, my look, the, how my, the texture of my cassava, the texture of my dough, how it look like. So I'm using my hand to mix it here so that. I can feel it very well so when it gets to how i want it to be then i will know so it's almost okay here but i'm just going to add a little more cassava flour to it so this is it i'll just use my hand to knead it for me you see the way it is right now for me my cassava my dough is okay it's it's just the right dough for me here you see the way it is so when yours is like this then you know that is ready so for me it's okay like this another thing my people i'm just going to test it i want i want i want to see how it tastes so it's very important to 
to test it. You can throw it away when you put it in your mouth, but just test it to see how it tastes. So that it should, it should not be that there is no salt. So if they, if it, if it doesn't taste well, when you fry it, you will not enjoy it. So I love to test it. If you want, you can do that also. So you see the way my dough is looking. So just, this is just it. So guys, this is my cookie press. Yeah, so I bought this one in AliExpress. So this one I bought it in AliExpress. So I don't I know you can get it in AliExpress, Amazon, eBay, all those sites. All those sites. Sorry, I'm speaking French. So this is the way the cutter is. So they there are other cutters. There are other cutters, so these are other cutters, but I don't know if you can use these other ones, but the one I know they used to make a uh, Akara chips is this one. You see the way the mouth, you see the way the cutter is. So, this is the one I use. When you buy it, just look for this one, and this is what you will use to make your cookie cutters. You can still try all that though, because it have different shape. So, it's different shape and size. There is different shape. So, you can try it out. This is the one I've tried out. As you can see, I'm using my spoon to scoop my beans dough into my cookie press. So if you don't have, if you cannot afford this cookie press or you don't have it, I, I saw a video where somebody was using a fita. You know fita that you used to fita your, your rice when you boil your rice now, your rice, your beans, that kind of fita. So she was using it. She, she would put the, this dough inside the, the fita. She would be using her hand to, to, to spread, to wipe it out. So the thing will be coming out of the fita and it will be going into the granola. It will be coming out of the fita and it will be going into the granola. So that was what that woman used. So this is my granola here. It's already hot. I used my skewer to try it. I just put my skewer inside and it was bubbling. So that is how I know that my granola here is ready. So as you can see, just press your press your cookie press. You'll be pressing it. It will fall down. Don't add too much pressure. Press it. It will, it will, it will just cut into your granola here. Press it. It will cut into your granola here. So just keep watching. You will see how I use my cookie press for those of you who don't know how to use it. So when you when you press your your beans dough into your granola here, I like to fry a little bit. So just continue to flip it around, just turn it around. I like to fry it, turn it around, so so that it will be well fried, and it will not burn. Also, so this is my when it turns golden brown, you know your akara chips is ready. And try to fry on a medium heat, so don't don't allow the heat to be too much. And don't allow your oil to be too hot also. If you want your to fry your, your akashis to be beautiful. So just normal heat. You see, just press it. It will fall down. Press it. So that is just how to use this. Uh, so there is no more, <laughs> there is no more beans dough inside. So this is it. I'm just going to be scooping. I'll, I'll, I'll leave, allow this one to be frying. I'll go and scoop more. I'll, I'm going to be scooping more. Of my beans dough into my cookie press so this is it it's just like you are scooping ice you know when they are scooping ice cream into a corn or into a a cup now that is how you are going to be using your spoon to scoop to scoop your beans dough you see it after after when it's full then you have to put the the other one so this is my akara chips it has turned golden brown i'm going to remove it don't forget to like this video, my people. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, my people. If you have not subscribed, support your girl. So this is it. You press it. You see it. Press it. It will fall down. Press it. So it's just if you have not used this cookie, cookie, uh, cookie press before, it's it's very it's very easy to use. So it's so simple. Just use your your spoon to turn it around. So that's it, my people. Please. Don't forget to like this video. Share this video to your loved ones. Please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Mori Cakes and More Kitchen. A very big thank you to my new and returning subscribers. So guys, if you want to, if you are looking for a small business to start, I think this Akara Chips is a very good idea. You can start this business. It's a very good idea. And I think you are going to gain profit from it. So this is, I'm done frying my akara chips. I just spread it on my paper napkin. I spread my paper napkin on my work surface. If you don't have paper napkin, just spread it on your work surface. I'm going to be leaving all the ingredients I use in this video in my description box. You can kindly go and check it out. Please don't forget to 
subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you as you do so so you can store it in your container just lock the container very well so that hair will not hair cannot enter inside or you tie it in your cellophane bag very well it's it will last you for a long time thank you all for watching